G'day viewers, Grazer, and welcome out for a little fish this morning. We're going to go out and see whether we might be able to chase down a few red fins. So, flicking a few lures, so stay tuned. Here we are viewers out in the middle of the lake, we're just about to um, yeah, get a lure out. I thought I'd just give you a bit of a look at sort of what my go-to is without chasing ready. So yeah, so here's my tackle boxes. Um, this is the one I generally always pull out. It's got a few ice jigs, a couple of blades in here, a few uh, bobbers. Don't really plan on using those today, but um, the ones that I've been having a lot of success on is the switch blades. It's got a few different varieties here. Got the TTs in the half ounce. Got the Atomics um, in the little 55 size, which I've had a lot of luck with. And um, this sort of one here um, in the goldy color and this black color, been having a lot of luck with. Got the little Xerix fish trap um, and this um, little imitation sort of minnow here. We'll give that a whirl. A couple of little set X's and um, and this proficient brand which um, I haven't used before we might even give that a whirl got me trusty little rub on zent here um, yeah which is sort of my tackle box and I have my jig heads for my plastics commonly just use a little quart ounce with the 3 o hook um, which is the TT's here got a few little bass mans in there as well um, a few I've sort of painted up with a bit of nail polish. We're going to try a couple of different plastics today. We're going to try the um, ambush lures. Um, haven't tried them, picked these up this week. Um, got the enemy in the paddle tails in the black crude oil and this sort of reddish bomber, bomber colour, which looks exciting. So we might even give that a whirl. We're also going to try this tr crushed city in the Rapala, which I've. Um, I think a pretty relatively new I believe but this is in the budgie color nice sort of fluoro looking one we'll give that a whirl and then I've sort of yeah got me variety of gold color gold gubs um, marinating and a bit of juice there so yeah so we'll give those a whirl obviously we probably won't use them all but um, yeah just to give you a bit of an idea of um, yeah the the different baits and lures that I try and use when I'm out chasing a few reddies. All right, we've baited up. Let's get into it, eh? See where we might be able to catch a fish. They don't appear to be that far out. So they're holding pretty close to the bottom, I'd say. So we're just letting that lure drop to the bottom. Giving it a gentle lift. Yep, got him. Got him, got him. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> stuff lost him oh got this one oh he doesn't appear to be too bad either doesn't appear to be too bad. Yeah, he's a nice ready. Good stuff. Look at that. Good one. There we have it. Nice little ready. Let's see if we can find a bigger one, hey? Yep, got him. Got him. Got him. Not this one either. 
Yeah, and he's not bad either. He's inhaled that. Soft plastic. Yeah, he's looking nice, ready. Okay. Just got him on that soft plastic. Just picked him up on that little ambush, little soft plastic there. Good work. Yeah, got him. Yep. First lift and he's just taken that. It's only a little. It's only a little one. Good. Really giving that, really inhaling that bait. Like, look at that. You can sort of see he's, he's taken that right down the gullop. Really aggressive, which is good. So, nice one. Let's put that on the first drop. I'm not throwing that that far out. So they're just that four or five metres of the water. Letting that hit the bottom. So we're just giving it a lift. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a good one. He's a good ready. Look at that, he's going nuts. Yeah, that's a ripper. Absolute ripper. There you go. Now that's a good ready. Couple of nice fillets on that. Yep, got him. He's taking that. Oh, he's getting a little aggressive now. He's freaking out. He's freaking out. Oh, yeah, good one. Good one. Look at that. Oh, that's the biggest one for the morning, that one. Yeah, there's a good ready, that one. That's a ripper, that one. So yeah, just picking them up on the drop, just, yeah, just putting that soft plastic out there, just lifting it up, just letting it hit the bottom, just a couple of nice sort of soft jerks up and they're coming up and grabbing it, which is great. I'm just gonna put this lure out a little bit deeper. Little school there I found at the beginning sort of backed off a little bit. Um, so they've got a bit thin, not getting a lot of bites out of there, so we're just going to... We've got a bit of a drop off here, so it gets down to about 7 metres of water. We've got the little switch blade on at the minute. Yep, and we've got one. Good stuff. Well, he's all right. <clears throat> a little specimen. It's okay. 
I'm getting back in. Yep, we got him. Uh, it would appear to be a bit better. Would appear to be a bit better. Yeah, he's alright. He's better. Not bad. Good one. Nice reading. There we go. Good red fin. Got him. Got him. Got him, Eva. Here we go. He's all right. Bad red fin. Keep that one, I think. Nice one. There we go. One. Got him. Yeah, Eva, we got him. Oh, this might be a good fish. This one might be alright, Eva. Yep, he's not bad. He's not bad. Good one. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll keep that one. Here we go. Nice fish. Ripper. Atomic. Switch blade doing the job. There we go. Another good red fin. It's nice and solid. Put that one in the creel. I got one here. Appear to be too bad either by the looks of it. Alright, here's a nice ferry. It's a ripper. Ripper red fin. Yep, fish on, fish on. Here's a good one. There we go. Another good one. There you go, guys. A nice, short, sharp session on the reddies. Managed to get, yeah, good, I reckon, probably 60 plus fish. Um, got a feed too, which is even better. So, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.